Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going over Confess Fletch. It's a crime comedy directed by Greg Matola. It's written by Zev Boro and Greg Matola and based on the novel by Gregory MacDonald. The cast features John Hamm, Lorenza Izzo, Roy Wood Jr., and Aidan Maieri. The plot is fairly simple and follows basic crime mystery formula. We open with Fletch, played by John Hamm, discovering the body of a young woman on the floor of his rental apartment. Fletch is an investigative reporter hired to find 12 paintings that were stolen from Count Clementi, played by Robert Picardo. With the help of two hardworking detectives, played by Roy Wood Jr. and Aidan Maieri, Fletch attempts to track down the art thieves as well as the murderer. The movie is hilarious, but devoid of any meaning or intrigue. The story is simple, predictable, and kind of boring. We watch endlessly as Fletch runs from suspect to suspect, interrogating them. Each time, we spend another 5 to 10 minutes watching a one-note joke repeat itself like a broken record. Fletch is a lying ass. Tatiana is really dumb. Eve is insane, and the Countess is into sexual harassment. It gets old quickly, and the film doesn't really change formats. It presents to you one quirky character after another. At the same time, it doesn't really explain the plot. The motivation behind the murder is weak and silly. They explain it in a single throwaway line and everything wraps up too neatly, leaving you with this unsatisfied feeling. John Hamm is likable, but does a fairly generic John Hamm performance. He's funny and charming, but kind of an ass. He's basically the commercial version of John Hamm, inserted into a film. The rest of the cast features solid performances that produce quite a few laughs. John Slattery is the foul-mouthed editor, Annie Mamulo is the crazy neighbor, and Lucy Punch is the vapid, idiotic realtor. The music is generic and the soundtrack feels lazy and cheap. The only time you ever hear any music is when there's a montage going on. There's a good selection of different music there, but it's all used in exactly the same way. It's like they realized how boring the montages were, so they just slapped whatever songs they had lying around over it and called it a day. Which leads me into my next point. This movie is visual chloroform. It'll have you in a deep sleep within 30 minutes if you're not laughing at the jokes. It's all montages and close-up shots of people talking. They don't even make the conversations interesting to watch. It's all just cutting back and forth between the two speakers. The sets are all normal buildings or outdoor parks, and the costumes aren't much better. Every character looks like they follow the same fashion magazines and they all shop at the same stores. No one really stands out or has their own unique style. Overall, I'm just not a fan of Confess Fletch. It doesn't have a compelling story and the visuals and soundtrack are boring. Nothing exciting ever happens and the entire film feels more like a vehicle for jokes than an actual crime drama. 6 out of 10. 